Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't been on here in a long time. Let's not talk about it. Um, but today we are reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation and let's just get into it. So today we're going to be putting on the new Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. So we got a few samples and then we have the foundation and there goes the sample. So here is the foundation really pretty but this foundation looks like something you get off qvc or something the packaging it's like skin looks more radiant by up to 285 percent like on the bottle and stuff i think that's kind of funny but nonetheless it's really pretty so this is in the lightest shade it's number one neutral if my camera will focus on this. the number one neutral it's the lightest shade that they had so let's see if this even matches me so this is what it looks like it's so pretty I like the squeezy tube. Well, it's not a squeezy tube. It has a pump, but you know what I mean. It kind of looks like a squeezy tube. It's just really nice. You don't have to worry about it breaking or anything like that. So I'm putting a pump on the back of my hand. I hope that this matches. Let's see if it'll come out. It may take a few pumps to get it to come out. Okay, looks fairly promising. It's kind of a runny foundation. But I'm excited. Okay, so I'm taking a Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. It is damp. And let's start applying this. Okay, the color seems pretty nice. It's a little yellow. Um, I am sunburnt, by the way. But um, I'm kind of a neutral, and this, this seems okay. So we'll see once we start blending this out some more. Okay, so it has pretty decent coverage. Like I said, I'm sunburnt. You guys can probably tell uh, like up and through here and stuff, but it's covering pretty nicely. This is really pretty, wow. So it does look like it's just a little bit yellow on my skin, but it's pretty, so I don't know. And I forgot to put my moisturizer on. Hmm, I'm so smart. So up close, it's catching on to just a few dry patches. But like I said, I forgot to put on my foundation or my, my foundation, but my moisturizer. But um, it looks pretty though. Like it really does look pretty. So I'm actually going to do another pump on the back of my hand. And I think that should probably do the rest of the face. Yes, this is a little dark for me, unfortunately. I wish the color was just a little lighter, but I do think it kind of works. Like I can get away with this and it not be super noticeable. I'm gonna bring this down my neck and yeah, I can kind of tell where it's a little bit more yellow than my skin, but it's not super bad. Do you guys ever do that though? Like you forget to put on your moisturizer or your primer and you're just like, oh, go figure. Cause I'm sure this would look even better if I moisturize, which it looks good. I always get a lot of redness around my eyebrows. I don't know if you guys do, but just something that I've always had. And I'm sunburnt up here and like right, right and through here. So it's covering it pretty good. It looks glowy. It has such a pretty glow to it. But it, it doesn't feel like sticky, you know? This is a pretty foundation. I'm actually gonna take half a pump more just because the color is not super perfect on my skin. So I want to blend this down the neck a little bit. And honestly, that's about like my normal use of, a, of foundation, like two to three pumps is about normal for like what I want. Like I want kind of a medium to full coverage. This is definitely buildable. Um, so I do really like that. 
So yeah, guys, here's the foundation. I have such a pretty just glow to the skin. I wish she had a lighter shade. Oh my God. I mean, it's not bad. Like I feel like it looks good. You know, maybe the camera will show a little bit of the color difference. I'm not for sure what you guys are seeing, but it looks good. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, anyways, let's do some concealer. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter concealer and see how that goes. Um, so I'm using the Dose of Colors. This is O2 Fair. Just putting a little bit right here because I don't want a lot of creasing under, uh, underneath the eyes. A little bit in the center. A little bit right here on the nose. And let's see if we can kind of get this to work. So after doing my foundation, I want to use a little bit of powder. I want to use the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the number one in the airbrush flawless finish. Just underneath the eyes. That's all I really want. I want to do a little bit right here too. Because I get like a little line. I get a little small line then I get some lines up here which I'm not going to powder. But I wish I would have moisturized. I really, really, really do. So here's the foundation on the back of my hand. My hand is also burnt. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. It's just a little darker. Now I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury um, blush duo, the Love Glow Chic or Cheek to Chic. Look how pretty that is. And I'm just going to run this on my cheeks. Wow, this blends beautifully. Like the foundation. Oh, this is pretty. So I should have done this before, but I'm using a little bit of Kevin and Kwan. This is the light sculpting powder. So good if you're pale. If you are so pale, like super pale like I am, you need a contour powder. Yeah, this is the best. And it blends over pretty well anything. I should have done this step first, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna put on a lip liner and a lipstick. And we gotta do Charlotte Tilbury, we just got to. We got to. Okay, so for the lips, we are using Charlotte Tilbury as well. Bitch Perfect Lipstick and Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Now, Bitch Perfect. Such a pretty combo. Okay guys, so final thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Wow, uh, it's beautiful. Like I'm sitting here right here's my, my mirror. Wow, it is so, so pretty. The color is a little bit yellow on my skin. It's not super noticeable. Like I said, maybe the camera will kind of, kind of tell more, but it is so pretty. And I think I could get away with this. Honestly, if not, this is a foundation I'm keeping, just so you guys know. I'm keeping this foundation. I really like it. I want to start using it more. Maybe I'll mix it with a lighter foundation just to get the tone a little bit more um, right for my skin. But this is pretty. Even without mixing it, I think I can get away with it. I really do. It's so pretty. Now, you guys, I do have... I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I do have a small line that makeup loves to settle in and a couple on the forehead that makeup loves to settle in. 
Um, so it's not like this particular foundation or anything like that. Uh, they all do that, all foundations do, on me. And this is pretty. I have like a kind of dry, normal skin, I would say. Probably just more on the dry side. And I didn't moisturize and this still looks really, really pretty. There's a little texture on certain places. And like I said, it's probably where I didn't moisturize. Um, I think all skin types would probably really enjoy this. Like, it doesn't feel sticky. Uh, maybe if you do have like really oily skin, maybe it won't be the best foundation for you. But it's not sticky because it d definitely has a glow and it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm wearing no highlighter, you guys. None. This is beautiful. Like, I don't even want to wear highlighter. Like, that's how... It's just like a natural, pretty glow. It's so, so pretty. But, you guys, I love this foundation. I think it's super pretty. Gorgeous. All the reviews I know on this foundation have been good. And I understand why. It's just pretty. It's just a pretty foundation. So, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look. You can follow me on Facebook. On, shoot, uh, Instagram. TikTok, all at Endicott MUA, same way it's on here. And if you guys like this video, please do consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Liking the video, turning on your post notifications. That would be so cool. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys back next time.